Hi, I'm Ben Johnson and I am uh, the product manager for StarCraft RV and I'm standing outside a 2025 uh, StarCraft GSL travel trailer. This is a 275 RLS and I'm going to spend the next few minutes talking about uh, some of the things that make this floor plan special, that make this product series special and I'll talk about some of the changes that we've made for 2025 on the way. So I'm going to start point out here in the front we have a three-quarter fiberglass front cap on the GSL travel trailers. Uh, that's a great feature. It helps protect the front of the coach. Um, when, the, when the travel trailer is going down the road, uh, the, the three-quarter cap helps protect the front wall uh, from rock, rock chips, uh, spray, road debris, and whatnot. Um, on the side wall here, I'm gonna talk about, we've got an oversized uh, pass-through storage compartment. Um, goes all the way through to the other side. Nice feature. All of our GSL travel trailers are prepped for side marker cameras. Um, incredible safety feature when you're towing your vehicle down the road. Uh, this plugs into a monitor in your uh, tow vehicle and you can see more clearly down the sides of your trailer. It's a nice safety feature and again we're prepped on all of our GSLs for that. Um, head down the side wall here you can see our solid step entrance step. This is uh, all GSL trailers on the main entry area are equipped with our solid step. One of the great things about the solid step is because of the name solid step, it provides a much more solid feel than the traditional pullout steps. When you step on one of the traditional pullout steps, it feels wobbly. Um, the whole sh trailer can shake. When you step on the solid steps, you can see very solid. Nothing's shaking inside the coach, just a much more stable entry and exit from the coach. Another nice feature on the solid step, this wider top tread that they use, um, just gives you a, almost a landing feel like you might have in your house. You're walking in uh, with groceries, walking out in the morning uh, uh, to have your cup of coffee at your campsite. Having this nice deep step here is just a nice safety feature. Uh, very easy to stow up inside the coach. Uh, another advantage to this is that, that it does stow inside uh, store inside the coach when you're towing it down the road so you're not going to get that road debris constantly hitting your entry step like you do on the older style steps uh, it's going to stay nicer for longer and look nicer for longer let's head down the back here some more this this uh, floor plan is equipped with uh, some outside storage and some outside kitchen features uh, we have an outside refrigerator which is a great feature. A lot of people like to have that. Uh, you can store drinks out here. You don't have to go on the inside of the coach to get them. If you're a fisherman, this is a great fridge for your bait. Again, you don't want that inside your, your main fridge on the inside. Um, just a nice convenience feature. Um, we have a metal countertop. One of the worries that you might have on an outside kitchen or an outside storage area is that uh, uh, water every now and then can get in. Uh, if you happen to leave this open and some rain comes in, uh, having a metal countertop here uh, helps, uh, helps, helps make it look nicer for longer. Uh, it's a nice uh, uh, peace of mind type feature. We've got a storage compartment back here, as you can see, that would hold a TV. Um, you got all your TV hookups in here, and then there's a bracket pre-framed back in there for uh, a television. So if you want to watch TV outside, this is a real easy way. You just pop a, t a TV bracket on there and a TV in there, and you got all the hookups for it, which we feel is a, a nice feature. Uh, on the roof, can't see the roof right now, but on the roof we've got a couple of things I'd like to talk about. The first thing would be our PVC roof material. I'm very, very uh, proud to have this feature on our GSL travel trailers. A uh, couple things that make PVC great. First thing, it's got a lifetime warranty. Uh, a lot of our competitors' roof warranties are 12 year, 15 year. Um, having a lifetime warranty, again, great peace of mind feature. Another thing is, it is a uh, non-prorated warranty. So five years, 10 years, 15 years, 30 years even down the road, uh, it has a full lifetime warranty. Anything that would go wrong with the material, it's a full parts and labor uh, warranty, which is just a great, a great uh, uh, thing. Just testament to the company that, that supplies them that they, they stand by the product for the life of the material. Um, another really nice feature on the PVC is that it does not absorb heat and it reflects sunlight. Uh, so a trailer this size, uh, one of the common concerns and complaints with competitive units uh, is if you're camping in super hot weather, uh, 90 plus, 85 plus, uh, that happens anywhere really, uh, even up into Canada. 
um, that it's hard to keep the, the coach cool on the inside. And, and the fact that our top layer, that's your first defense against the hot sun rays and the heat, um, the fact that our material does not absorb heat and that it reflects sunlight means that the air conditioner can, can work correctly, oftentimes results in a much more comfortable camping experience in the summer. Another feature that I want to talk about on the roof is our Magnum truss roof system. Um, 4,500 pound weight rating. Uh, the, the roof rafters that we use have a special joist system on the inside that uh, allow it uh, with nail plates on both sides that make it much more sturdy and more stable. Uh, so it's a much stronger roof system, again, 4,500 pounds. So it's full walk on side to side, front to back. Um, don't have to tiptoe at the, at the rafters or around the air conditioners like some of our competitors. So very happy to have that as a, as a feature as well. Also up on the roof is our Extend Solar One uh, package. That's a, that's a feature that we have on all of our GSLs. Solar is becoming a, a popular uh, feature in the industry and uh, we're proud to offer it on all of our trailers. What that includes is a 200 watt roof mounted solar panel uh, that is hardwired with heavy gauge wiring, the correct wiring that you would use, down to a 30 amp controller and your battery bank. Um, we get questions all the time, you know, how would I use solar? I don't need it. Um, we've found and, and we're confident that you probably need it more than you think you do. Even if you don't feel like you're, you think you're going to be plugged into shore power the whole time and it's not a feature you need. If you're towing this coach, power outages, um, there's always instances throughout the use of, the, of these trailers where you're not going to have shore power and it's a great feature, a safety feature, a peace of mind feature to have a backup power source to run things like your lights and your fridge and things like that. If you ever have this trailer at a, at a sporting event or uh, maybe a family member's cookout or something and you just want to take it there and park it, having that solar feature there where you don't have anything to plug into, you can still use your refrigerator, you can still use your lights, you can still turn on the TV oftentimes. So um, it's just a, a really cool extra feature that we offer and it is scalable. We have an option for a second uh, solar uh, 200 watt solar panel. That's our Extend Solar 2 option. And that just extends the amount of things that you can power and how long you can run those things. It's a great, uh, a great feature. Um, around the backside, we have our uh, convenience center, our docking center. Uh, it's something we're very proud of on the, on the GSL travel trailers. Essentially, it's a uh, outside shower. It looks like an outside shower compartment, but on the inside, all of your water hookups. So your, your city fill, your tank fill, your black tank flush, which is a feature that we have, uh, your, your satellite cable hookup, all that is in a self-contained compartment and uh, with a door that closes to keep all that stuff out of the elements. And it, is, and it is on the back of the coach, which is where most campgrounds have all of their terminations, their, their electrical posts and, and all that. Another thing to talk about on this coach is all of our GSL travel trailers are 50 amp service standard. That's a nice feature. One of the biggest advantages to having 50 amp service as standard is when you go and get the second air conditioner option. So we do option to a second air conditioner on this, uh, on these uh, GSL travel trailers. Oftentimes when that's an option in this industry, it's just a dump air conditioner. It just throws it straight down into the bedroom. Because we have 50 amp standard, we have that fully ducted and fully wired. So when you get that second air conditioner option, either from us or from the dealers, um, it is tied into the ductwork and it is already wired and has a thermostat uh, and everything. So it's just a lot better application, much more efficient use of the air conditioner system. We're going to head to the inside of the coach and I'm going to talk about a number of things on the inside uh, that, that make this 275 RLS 2025 GSL uh, a great trailer. We're here on the inside of the uh, 275 RLS, the 2025 uh, StarCraft GSL. 275RLS and I'm going to spend the next few minutes talking about uh, uh, features on the inside of the coach. Um, let's we'll start in here in the uh, living area and then we'll work our way into the kitchen and then into the bedroom and the bathroom. One of the new things that we're doing for 2025 is a powered theater seat. Uh, any model that would have uh, a layout that would call for a theater seat, um, we're using a powered theater seat. A couple features with this though that I want to talk about. First one is it can also be a love seat. One of the downsides that we've gotten in the past to theater seats is this fixed console area. Kind of makes this sofa a little less usable. And so we've added a, a flip down 
center console. Um, you can see it's got cup holders. It's got a power for uh, power out, a 110 power outlet and some USB chargers for your devices. And then you flip that up and you got a, a, a love seat, which is, we think, a better uh, application for this piece of furniture. There's also storage, storage under here for remote controls and, and whatnot. Um, and then the fact that it's a power recline is a nice new feature for us, convenience feature. Um, sometimes those, those pull cords would get break or, or wouldn't work as well. So having this powered feature, we feel is a nice feature. You can see the included uh, TV trays. These just pop in and out of the cup holder and then you can store them wherever you like. Just a nice feature if you wanna have a snack or, or do a crossword puzzle, whatever. Uh, you got a nice little uh, table there uh, that doesn't take up floor space, uh, which is kind of the downside of traditional TV trays. So um, we're happy to have that. Back here in the sofa area, we do have a trifold sofa standard on this model. Uh, I'm not going to demonstrate it, but it folds out into a uh, queen sized bed, which is a nice feature. You got guests that come over. Um, they've got a nice, comfortable sleeping space. Um, lots of windows in this coach. Something we're really proud of is all of our windows do have roller shades in our GSL travel trailer. Everybody that's owned a trailer in the, re in the last few years uh, probably has had the experience with the pleated shades with strings and uh, they're, they're kind of a hassle to deal with. They break all the time and so having these roller shades, um, it's just a, a lot cleaner, a lot nicer application. Um, they're more reliable and they are blackout shades. So they completely black out the outside of the coach when they're uh, when they're fully down, which we we're, think is a great feature too. Over here in the entertainment center area, we have uh, for, new for 2025 is our what we call our entertainment TV uh, in the coach, and and the the great thing is that is now all integrated into one unit. So it's called our entertainment TV. Uh, it's a 40 inch high definition TV with a built in sound bar. Uh, so all the sound will come from the TV. Um, it is a JBL sound bar, so it's a very high quality a, a name brand. And uh, included in there would be your uh, FM radio, uh, Bluetooth, and uh, a number of streaming services that are preloaded onto the TV. You get one remote. It's very easy to use. Um, so you don't have to go searching for multiple remotes to work either the radio or the TV or, or, or uh, and back and forth. And so having that... Uh, uh, as a convenience feature. We're very proud to have that and happy to have that. Also the new fireplace. We went with a wider fireplace uh, for 2025. Fireplaces in general is a, are a great feature. They're little space heaters. A little bit less than 5,000 BTU is the power that, or the, 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 the amount of heat that it puts out. Uh, the, the benefit of that if you're camping and you're in a campground and you got free electricity and you don't want to use your propane, you don't want to turn your furnace on, and it gets down into the 30s or 40s and you just want to take the chill off or even heat the coach, the fireplace will do that. It actually will heat this entire coach um, at certain temperature levels. So it's just a nice feature, nice comfort feature that we're excited uh, to, to still have and to, and to improve for 2025. Let's head into the kitchen area. I'm gonna talk about a few things into the kitchen. First thing I wanna talk about is our appliance suite. Um, we've changed to an Envision appliance suite for 2025. And a couple of things that are new. Uh, the first thing is the refrigerator. Uh, we have a 10 cube, 12 volt refrigerator for 2025. Very large 12 volt refrigerator. Um, one of the nice things about 12 volt fridges versus the older gas absorption fridges that have been used for years is you get a little bit more usable space. Um, there is a residential look and feel to it. And also they're more efficient. Uh, they cool down more quickly. They hold their cold better. Uh, than the gas absorption fridges do. You'll see on this particular fridge that the freezer is at the bottom. It's kind of the accepted way with home fridges is that uh, having freezers on the bottom is more efficient, better use of, uh, of the space. And so having the freezer now on the bottom, we're, we're very happy to have that. Uh, and you can see quite a lot of space inside that freezer for frozen goods. Other parts of the Envision suite, we have the new Envision microwave new Envision range top, and then the Envision, uh, the new range hood, and then the new Envision oven and range top. A couple of things about our range tops, they are flush mount. Uh, some of our competitors still do surface mount ranges. 
Uh, the nice thing about having flush mount ranges, basically that means it's, it's sunken into and more flush with the countertop. Uh, one of the nice things about that is it's just more usable countertop space. If you got pizza boxes or you throw your bread down or you know, whatever, having it flush mount just makes for a much more natural, easier uh, uh, use of that space. Beneath the, uh, the, the tempered glass range cover, uh, we do have a residential style heavy duty grate with three burners. And then an oversized oven area. It has a glass viewing, uh, plenty of room in there to cook most anything that you'd want to cook in an RV. And then an oversized pots and pans drawer below. Another new feature for 2025 would be our hidden hinges on our, on our cabinetry. Um, this is a feature that uh, uh, we've uh, started using uh, or we're going to be using for 2025. A couple of things about the hidden hinges. First of all, aesthetically, we think they look great. Uh, you don't see the exposed hinges anymore like you would on normal RV cabinetry. Um, oftentimes in a, in a custom house or a higher end house, you're going to see hidden hinges. Um, another really, I think is another really good feature uh, with the hidden hinges is that they are much more easily adjustable. Uh, these, these RVs, these travel trailers, they go down the road, they bounce around. Um, and so over time, things can get uh, need adjustments. And the, with the old one, you've got you to take the screws out, change the screw holes, you know, so, it's such a hassle. But with, with the hidden hinges, they're much more easily adjustable. So if over time, from all the shaking, they start to sag a little bit, you just, just open it up, adjust it, tighten it back down, and now you've got a fully square uh, ca a cabinet. Also magnet catches, uh, heavy duty magnet catches instead of the old latches that everybody's used to. Uh, also in our kitchen areas, we have uh, what are called pressed membrane countertops. You can see in this particular, in the 275, we've got quite a lot of countertop space with the hutch in the kitchen area and over here by the, uh, by the oven. One of the big advantages of, of pressed membrane countertops is there's no edges or no seams around the edges, either at the sink area or around the edges. So if you spill water, you got water running off. Uh, old style cabinets that have T-mold edging, that's just a recipe for disaster with water running and uh, the, the countertops swelling up and whatnot. That won't happen with your press tops. Uh, very happy to have that. Uh, also, it gives us the ability to have undermounted sinks in our kitchen areas. Again, a great convenience feature. Um, if you're working in the kitchen area, maybe you're chopping vegetables and you want to slide, just slide everything into the sink. There's no lip around the edge to go over. So it's going to be easier to keep clean. And also if you spill some water, just sliding it into the sink area, um, much easier process. High rise kitchen faucet gives you room to clean your pots and pans. Um, let's head over to here to the dinette. This is an optional feature for us. This is our freestanding table with four chairs. Uh, we do have another option for a freestanding table with a bench and two chairs. One of the nice things about our dinettes is they are extendable, so you can uh, extend them out if you want to seat some more people or just have some more elbow room. Um, you got that with our, dinette, our optional four, sta uh, four chairs and dinette. Before we head back into the bathroom bedroom area, I do want to talk about uh, the travel link uh, feature. Um, this is our, our uh, Bluetooth feature. This is your monitor panel, if you will, your ability to run your slide outs, your lights, your awnings, your air conditioner. All of that is ran through this smart hub right here. And then it also does tie into uh, your cell phone. Uh, there's an app on your cell phone called Travel Link app that you bring your cell phone up. You can run your, your uh, slide outs, your awnings, your lights, Check your, make sure the air conditioner's on, really check your tank levels. There's all sorts of things that you can run off of this, this travel link feature. Uh, one of the nice things, or one of the best things about being able to do that on your phone is when you get where you're going and you're getting set up, being able to put your slide outs out when you uh, have, uh, when you're standing out there to make sure you're not running into maybe you're one of your kids or maybe you're not running into a tree or the power post from the campsite. Being able to stand out there and do it on your phone is just a great feature. Same thing with your awning. Uh, a cool thing about uh, that some people don't think about about having this on your phone is if you have your awning out, maybe you forgot to put your awning in and you're already in bed and you don't want to get up, you can just whip your phone out and put your awning in from your phone as opposed to getting up and pressing uh, the buttons to do it in the middle of the night. Um, travel links are a great feature. Let's head back to the bathroom here. 
275 has a side aisle bathroom, uh, completely self-contained, uh, full 36 inch shower with a glass door, uh, foot flesh porcelain stool with a plastic soft close lid. The soft close lid seems like a small thing, but practically we're always looking for, for features to uh, make the experience of camping better. And having a lid that slams shut, we found is a complaint um, people are trying to sleep, whatnot, going to the bathroom in the middle of the night. That lid slamming down is a loud uh, feature. Having that soft closed lid uh, is just a nice uh, convenience feature that we have. Press membrane lavatory tops in the, in the uh, bathroom area with a undermounted stainless steel lavatory sink. Uh, Full-size medicine cabinet. Um, tons of room for storage for all your toiletries, medicine, anything that you might need. So it's not on the countertop. you got plenty of storage up above it. Um, we do have a power fan and a skylight uh, in all of our bathrooms as well. I'm going to head on into the bedroom. Talk about some things in the bedroom. One of the main things, one of the biggest things that we have in our light, our, our GSL lightweight trailers, is uh, a king bed. Uh, 72 by 80, a full king bed. Not often do you get that in a lightweight trailer, and our G, we're proud to have that in our GSL line. So this 275 does have a king bed. You'll see on either side, we do have ample nightstand space. And then in the back, we've got a platform for your phones. Phones, a CPAP machine, uh, any kind of device that you'd want to set up there. There's little circles that are st sticking up in the back there. Those are actually charging stations, uh, wireless chargers. You can just set your phone right down on top. If your phone has that feature where you can charge the back of it wirelessly, you just set it down on top of that and you don't need to mess with, you know, we're always losing cords and blocks and all that stuff. So you just set your phone on there and it charges. It's a great, uh, an awesome feature. Um, you can see there's a USB port when you pop it up there as well. So if you do have the cord with the USB, uh, you can charge that way. And then behind it, you've got your normal outlets. So again, if you have a CPAP machine or, or uh, you know, a blocks that you like to use to charge, um, you just plug them in back there. It's a great feature. Um, also in the bedroom here, I want to talk about uh, another great feature on our trailers, which is our wardrobe cabinet. On select models, we do have washer and dryer prep. Uh, so Whenever we can, when the floor plan allows for it, we're going to have a cabinet, a full-size wardrobe that has a washer and dryer prep cabinet inside it. Again, this is a lightweight travel trailer. It's a very nice travel trailer, so but it's a lightweight travel trailer. Having a washer and dryer prep cabinet uh, in, in, in it is a, is a huge deal, a big feature. We talked about the, uh, the this does have a second air conditioner option. It is tied into the ductwork. Our ductwork in our GSL travel trailers do have directional and closable AC vents. So if, you, if you're one that likes to have cold air blasting on you, there's two things you can do in a GSL travel trailer. In this 275, you can open these, these, these quick vents and just dump air directly down. Blast yourself with the air, uh, get yourself cooled off. You can do the same thing with these vents. If you don't like to have cold air hitting you, then you just close these vents or push them away from you and then it goes through the duct work. Um, so good, good comfort feature that we're, we're happy to have. Well, that's a quick walkthrough on our uh, 275, uh, 2025 StarCraft GSL. Uh, check us out on StarCraftRV.com and uh, our YouTube channel, and uh, you can get the full walkthrough here and a number of highlighted uh, feature videos as well. Thank you.